Hi traders, short recap of my trading session today. I'm going to talk about NVX, my second trade. There was a first trade and it was down. Now take a look at what happened. I did nothing wrong. The stock started down more than 7%. Therefore, it should be a gap and go. Should continue moving in the direction of the gap. That means down. And I took the first uh, move down, which was right over here. It failed. And now I've got a loser of $4,500. So I'm starting red today. And as you can see, NVX moved higher, took me out of the trade and now it's trying to come down again and the fact that I have a, lo I had a losing trade does not mean that my second trade is likely to fail as well. Now when the stock is down more than 7% it's very likely to gap and go and although I did not have the right timing I trust it to move lower and now I have a beautiful technical formation right here under 191. So I'm about to take my second short and this time a little bit more size right here I'm short. Now, the first move under this very nice technical formation is re relatively slow. I'm going to fast forward it so you can see what happened there, but it definitely kicked in uh, very soon. So you can see the way it came down. And again, the stock is under a lot of pressure. Now it's proving to me that it's trending lower. And that was really a beautiful technical formation for my second trade in NVX. So at this, at this point, you can see I'm already up seven grand, eight grand and still moving lower that point over $9,000 dollars 12 13 here comes the point where I thought it was a little bit extended and I took my partial right over here and left uh, just 400 shares now I was wrong as you can see soon it will continue moving lower and it does continue moving lower I still have 400 shares at some point it looked a little bit too extended which is approximately now you can see that it's starting to pull back up and I'm removing another 300 shares just covered and left with 100 shares and that was the right reversal point because from this point on as you can see it just popped up now I did something here which I don't normally do I'm about to add 1000 shares on the move up which is now at this point I just added another 1000 shares to the short now it's a relatively small size I couldn't have known that this would be the point of reversal it was as you can see the point of reversal so it just came down from that and it's moving lower and I'm looking at a very nice uh, breakdown formation and I'm adding another 1000 right here so it's about to break down at this point I think you can probably see for yourself that it's very very likely to move lower and it did move lower here's a new low and I'm up seven grand eight grand nine grand and again looking for the point of reversal which is right over here and I'm covering again 1900 shares and just left 200 for the continued run this was a beautiful trade and you know what uh, it's extremely important to understand that once you have a winner you should add to a winner you know a lot of people are adding to losing trades averaging down their loss you never do that if you add to a stock you always add to a winner I took my first uh, trade and that was a losing trade I took my second trade and that was a right technical formation that's why it uh, it looked better I already have some kind of an established trend and that's why I moved in with my regular size so I moved in with my regular size here and my first trade was relatively very small size because it was the first three minutes and I was still very very concerned so once it proved to me it came that it came down at the first reversal I took my first partial then it popped up and again what you've seen me doing there is something that I don't normally do if I would have moved in with let's say 2000 shares I would have looked for a very clear reversal pattern that means I would have looked for some kind of red candles I didn't get them I added as it was moving higher because I added relatively small size and you can do that if you add very small size something that can't risk your first trade you can do it once it's moving higher and even if it continues to move higher you can addition add additionally more I don't know how how many more but you can add continue to add as it moves higher and you know what that didn't happen and I didn't have to add any more and it came down but it all depends on your size if you're trading 400 shares and you're just shorting on the move up 50 shares I can understand that but you cannot add 200 shares this way and then it moves higher a little bit and you add another 50 shares that is also okay so you see then when it came down again I had a nice technical formation for a breakdown I was sure that it's going to break down 
over there, so I added even more. I kept adding as it came down. I kept adding as it kept proving to me that it wants to go with the trend. Now, here's my result. As you can see, that's my only winner today. And that's why I'm green today. I'm over $7,000 in green today. But look at my three losers. And it's a, a, a very extreme day because I don't normally have three losers, one winner, and finish in green. But I kept my losers small. I moved out from my losers once they proved to me that they don't go anywhere. Now, take a look at my GIS trade. I took GIS for short. It did not work out. Work out. My stop was right over there, which was quite high, and I, I just didn't wait wait for this for for GIS to give me a big stop loss. It didn't really reach my, my my stop loss, but I moved out because it proved to me that it's just going sideways. And once you're in a trade and it's just going sideways, not going your way, it just means one thing: you were wrong. You were wrong picking this stock. I was wrong picking this stock. So. Just move out. It does not matter if you move out with a small profit or you move out with a small loss. Just move out. It proved to you that it's not going your way. You picked the wrong stock. Now you should be out. So it's approximately the same idea with the rest two losers that I had today. I moved out relatively quick. All over size because maybe I didn't trust them that much. But anyway, I moved out with small losing trades. And I've got one big winner because I kept adding. I had a good feeling about it, it looked right, it came with a trend, it was a gap and go, I would expect it to really come down uh, and, and do what a gap and go is supposed to do, so I kept adding to this trade. Add to your winners, remove size or move out of your losers. And you know, that's the key. It's an extreme example, but normally if you have just one winner and one loser, it shouldn't finish finish in red and you shouldn't finish in zero you should finish in green because you let your winner ride more or you kept adding and you removed your loser faster than you did your winner now if you're a new trader you know it's just not that way when you're starting out you know when you're starting out as a trader it's normally just the opposite you let your losers ride more than your winners and your winners you just don't get uh the, the maximum potential of your win. And, you know, that happened to me for many years when I started out. I learned, you know, I, I, I changed the way I trade and I definitely trade a little bit different now. And I, I do let, as you've seen here in this extreme example, let my winners ride a little bit more. Hope you like this video. So please give us a like if you did. And you can also subscribe to this channel right over here. And plenty of links right here below. If you want to join us, we have the Christmas promotion going on right now. And there's plenty of other links if you like to join us. And please don't forget, trading is extremely hard. Most traders lose money. That's the truth. It is extremely hard and you shouldn't trade with money that you cannot afford to lose and so the best advice I can give you is just start with a demo don't take a risk and uh, please understand that this is a very hard occupation I wish you all the best thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video